I made my grand all pink because Kirby. Oh, damn, I never thought of that. <laughs> How to farm your Kuva liches. How's it going guys? My name is Michelle and today we are going to look into farming our Kuva liches. She may have seen yesterday it was it was quite the adventure. Do we? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, let's go watch the video now. Let's go take a look at uh, where we can find our Koo villages. Are you on the Koo Fortress, maybe? I can't find them. Requiem Fisher. I have no idea what it says. Is that a clue that we need to go to the Iron Wake? We will find out right now. Hey, that did something. As you see today, we're joined by Xeno Galleon, who is helping us out with, uh, with a bit of knowledge. Yes, I'm channeling my inner Deku, just violently shaking my head forward and like, giving myself a concussion. It's cool. Do not take this as a t total complete guide. We're going to try and go for the motion and take you along with us. Going for step one, getting that Kuva Lich. So as you may have seen yesterday, we went to Setna Adara and after three attempts, it was pretty clear that we did get a Kuva Lich by killing one of these things. So step two, man, this goes so fast. We are now going to farm some Requiem. Requiem. Re Why? It is the hardest double R to freaking pronounce, D. Why did you Requiem relics? We do those on Kuva Siphon missions. Oh my god, look at this. Have you seen the alert thing? <gasps> Shock, <laughs> pretend amazement. I haven't. Literally found this like seconds ago. We now have all the Kuva Floods and Kuva Siphons right here that are active um, because they will give us a chance of getting a Rick a thing. Yeah, a thing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is... That's there. That's a thing. It's in my face. <laughs> oh, there it is. You found it. Yep. But there we go. We got our Requiem Relic 2. I don't know, is there a difference yeah. between one, two, three, and four? Yeah, so there are four different types, and each of them have two of the different eight Requiem mods. All right. Well, then let's move on to step three. So now that we got the Kuvalich and we got the relics, what is the next thing that we should do? Should we pop the relics right now? I think it's better off that we actually go hunt down some thralls, get some murmurs, and try and determine which mods we need so that we don't just go and blow our relics and not need them, so. Thralls and murmurs. Two things, I have no idea what they are, but where do we find them? Right, so on your star chart, you'll find that there's this mm -hmm. jelly stain. There's some jelly that's been smeared on your star chart. Go, which planet is that? For me, it's Pluto. And you'll need to pick which node you want to do. So you can see right here, mm -hmm. right? We've got the thrall already. Oh, so that's a, I yeah, see him. So, so you go up to your thrall and you stab it. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty damn impressive. Weak Requiem Murmur. Oh, whoa, that applied to me as well? What? What is the murmur? So the oh, whole okay. point is that when you do enough of them, mm -hmm. it will tell you which one of the relics are for you. Nice. There we go. I got another what? one. What? There was two? Yep, I guess so. Oh, there's another one! There's another one! Oh my god, we get it. We're getting many, many, many. Wait, Here we go. Aye. So if you can see on the actual murmurs at the top, mm -hmm. it's slowly filling up. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. So it looks like we have to do quite a number of them. Yeah. I mean, you can also just guess what three relics that you need in what order. Mm -hmm. But there's a small, tiny problem with that, that there's 336 different combinations. Oh, wow, now we got all of them. That really didn't take us like four hours and we did that two days ago. We just did that in a minute, right, Drew? Yeah, totally. I just snapped my fingers and I changed my shirt without snapping my fingers. Was I? Yeah, I changed your shirt too. It's fine. It's getting a bit smelly. 
So the the best thing to do at this point in time, when you know the three you need, go to your relic terminal located at the back of your ship, set the filter to be just the Requiem relics, and find the ones that you need. So in your instance, you need Lock, which is Requiem 1. You need Vome, which is Requiem 2. And you need Kra, which is Requiem 4. The one I have the least of. So, I got the most out of that, so we're oh, good on good. that. So the Kuva Fortress moves, right? Yeah. But there's now fissures on the fortress. Yeah. Which means that fissures could appear anywhere in space. Mm hmm So how many fissures just open up to the vacuum of space and this corrupted <laughs> just gets spewed <laughs> out of space? <laughs> Many, I, I would assume many, many, many of them. Like, if, if you're thinking about it, like, logistically. Yeah. The probability of hitting, like, something and the probability of not hitting something. The chances are way, way, way higher okay. that they just, like, end up in nothing space. So if there are millions of corrupted dumped in space. Yeah. And there are so many more just in the void towers and things. Mm -hmm. How many morons are getting sent to the Void Towers to get corrupted? <laughs> and like, so we've sent billions of bad guys at the Void Towers. They're all being turned into corrupted. Do you guys not think that we might as well give up at this point? Mm, last month, we lost half a billion units to the Void. Increase it to a billion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So now, as you can see, we have all the mods we need. Xeno actually had to go out and do some work because we might have started this on a Saturday, but maybe it's Tuesday today? We now can put on these mods on the parasol. It's like step five, or actually step four and a half, because now that you have the mods, you're gonna put them on your parasol. I don't know what order. The order is gonna be important, but that's gonna be at step five actually confronting your Kuva village. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go out to the area that our Kuva village is at, and then hope that they will spawn on us and then we can attack them with our Parasong and then maybe kill them. Oh, there we go. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you at? Where are you at? I see you adversary and I adapt. Oh my God, you're here somewhere. I know you are. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. First one's wrong. Damn it. Oh, and it killed us. And now they're ranked two. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we got to revive. Now, we made our first attempt on our Kuvalich. We know now that our first mod is wrong. You got to get the sequence right. So, let's try again. Let's adapt the sequence and let's see how it will go. All right, so as we can see right here, our very first attempt failed. The first mod was not correct, so uh, we're going to have to try again with a different combination of the mods because the order is important. But as I can see right here, it is indifferent again. And uh, that means that we're going to have to like do more missions to make it angry again and try again and try again until we succeed. I think that overall, you probably get the general gist of it. This is the way to take down a Kuva Lich, and I hope that you probably learned something from this how-to video. Most of the information was provided by Xeno, so it's pretty reliable. <laughs> I know I'm not a tutorial guy, but um, I, I wanted to give you a little bit of like a handle bar since last video was kind of bad. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Uh, if you want to support the channel, just click any of these videos, either you want the one here or the one there, and uh, continue to watch them. If you haven't seen them already, or rewatch them because that just really helps the channel on YouTube. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.